powered by the Montana Television Network. Montana This Morning continues on Montana's News Leader. Millions coast to coast will don glasses and look towards the sky today for the great American eclipse. I'm Don Champion in St. Joseph, Missouri with a preview coming up. A search and rescue effort is underway for several missing sailors after a Navy destroyer collides with a tanker. And Meg Oliver will have the latest coming up. Good morning, 6.30 here on your Monday. I'm Missy O'Malley. Chet will have our forecast in just a moment. Matt is in Rexburg, Idaho, trying to see full totality today. Millions of Americans will be looking up to the sky in a matter of just a few hours for the first total solar eclipse to sweep the U.S. coast to coast in 99 years. CBS's Don Champion is in St. Joseph, Missouri, where people have been flocking for one of the best positions to watch the moon block the sun. Millions will look toward the sky today for astronomical amazement. For the first time since 1979, the moon will completely blot out the midday sun along a path stretching from Oregon to South Carolina. There's a hustle and a bustle and kind of an excitement and an anticipation. The tiny farming town of Madras, Oregon, will be one of the first places to view the total eclipse around 1.16 Eastern Time. In Carbondale, Illinois, which will be in the dark the longest for 2 minutes and 40 seconds, thousands will pack this sold-out football stadium. The site is something that's going to really please Americans and, and make them think uh, differently. St. Joseph, Missouri is the fifth largest city along the so-called path of totality. Hotels here started selling out for the eclipse more than a a year ago. Lauren Daves and her family rented an RV and drove here from Texas. It's going to be incredible just with the, the sky going dark and all the glow. The Phillips family drove here from Oklahoma and will be camping out. You won't be able to see the moon or the sun. It's just going to look like a ring of fire. I imagine at the moment of totality, everybody's just going to be in awe. And I just want to feel everybody in, in the same emotional state. I yeah. think that's going to be empowering. And an experience few will ever forget. Don Champion, CBS News, St. Joseph, Missouri. Now, all of North America will at least get a partial eclipse today. The next total solar eclipse will be visible in the United States in 2024. And the next coast to coast one won't be until 2045. As we just mentioned, we're just hours away from this eclipse. It will make its way across of most parts of the United States. And while Montana will see nearly a total eclipse, Casper, Wyoming will be home to a total eclipse. That's where we find MTN's Ed McIntosh and science teacher Craig Beals with more. The Great American Eclipse is happening finally today, and we're very excited to be in Casper, Wyoming. Craig Beals, the 2015 Montana Teacher of the Year, is with us, and we're going to have a unique perspective here today. Yeah, this is going to be a great day. We're really excited. Um, this is perhaps going to be the most photographed thing event of all time, and um, we've got some really special cameras down here in Casper to be able to look at this in a way that nobody else is going to get to see. Um, so we've got some FLIR or a FLIR camera, the very best of the FLIR cameras, which sees infrared, it sees thermal, it sees heat. We don't know what we're going to pick up. Um, it really is a science experiment. There are a couple of these stations throughout the country, and two of the cameras are on NASA spacecraft. And so we get to be part of that, kind of making history and looking at the eclipse in infrared. Yeah, we're taking a look at a camera that's hundred to two hundred thousand dollar camera it's so expensive they actually sent a representative down here to be with us for this and yeah. NASA has a couple of these cameras working today as well they do yeah they've got them and they're looking at uh, at this eclipse in many spectrum including the spectrum that we're going to be able to see it here in infrared that's right plus we'll be down here starting at 11 30 special broadcast on all the mtn stations we'll be showing you the eclipse both in infrared and in regular visible uh, imagery as well we hope that you'll join us get craig's perspective on what you're seeing as well so that's 11 30 today here on all the mtn stations for montana this morning i'm ed mcintosh it's exciting stuff from casper wyoming it is
These are not worth reading prompter in. No, you really That's can't. That's why they really are can't that see good. One thing. No, but this is the only way you should be viewing the uh, eclipses with the approved uh, eclipse glasses ISO. out there. You ISO. You do not want to damage your eyes about that, or use no. a pinhole or viewer in that. Uh, that's uh, it. Or watch uh, uh, our coverage here. We will have a uh, live coverage of that uh, right here on uh, the Montana Television Network. We're also having a little bit of a party today. Absolutely true. Come you and join come us uh, here yeah. at uh, the studio. So we're going to have a little fun to get together. It just only happens about once every 99 years that we throw a party yep. here. So I'm glad I was alive to witness yes, this one. So absolutely. it'll be a big deal. Come and join us uh, for that. Meantime, here's what we're looking at. The downside to your eclipse today is going to be that haze. Right now, that's a live shot in Butte. Unhealthy for sensitive groups. Moderate for Dillon West Yellowstone and Bozeman. That's that smoke. We can't seem to quite shake it yet. Above clear skies. There's your good news for that. Those clear skies are going to linger for a couple of days. It's going to be a warm one tomorrow. Today, temperatures in the 40s. Be careful for traffic. 287 southbound. Uh, lots of cars heading down towards totality. Also, Manita Pass. Uh, just be careful if you're driving out that direction. There's going to be a lot of cars on the road, and there's going to be a lot of cars leaving there two and a half minutes after it happens, because it's only going to last for like <laughs> two and a half minutes. That's the deal. Uh, there's your temperatures right now. The rest of your forecast is coming up from the Billion Auto Weather Patio. Ten minutes. Thank you, Chet. Now 636 for the second time in two months, a warship from the Navy's 7th Fleet out of Japan has crashed with another vessel. At least five sailors have been injured. Ten are missing at this time. The Navy says a search and rescue mission is underway. CBS's Meg Oliver is in New York with our latest. The Navy says the USS John S. McCain collided last night with an oil tanker while heading to Singapore on a routine port call in the South China Sea. Video shows a gaping hole in the port side of the guided missile destroyer. It's hard to envision exactly how crowded a waterway like that can be at night, in the dark, waiting to come or go and trying to stay out of everyone else's way. President Trump tweeted his support, writing, Thoughts and prayers are with our U.S. Navy sailors aboard the USS John S. McCain, where search and rescue efforts are underway. Senator John McCain tweeted, in part, Cindy and I are keeping America's sailors aboard the USS John S. McCain in our prayers tonight. It was June 17th when the USS Fitzgerald collided with a container ship, killing seven sailors. Just last week, the Navy relieved the commander and two other senior leaders of their duties, saying inadequate leadership and flawed teamwork contributed to the crash. Both Navy ships, the Fitzgerald and McCain, are among those in Asian waters equipped with the Aegeus missile defense system, mentioned lately as one of the tools that could be used to counter any potential missile launches by North Korea. The U.S. Navy, along with Singapore and Malaysia, are taking part in the search and rescue mission. Meg Oliver, CBS News. Now, although Senator John McCain is a Navy veteran, the ship is actually named after his father and grandfather, both of whom were admirables and were decorated for their actions in the Pacific and World War II. Singapore's Maritime and Port Authority says no oil has been spilled from that tanker and no injuries have been reported from that ship. In other news this morning, the Myers Fire southwest of Phillipsburg has now reached 15,365 acres. The fire is still only 5% contained. Smoke plume was very visible on Sunday due to the very active fire activity. The most active burning occurred on the slope of the Moose Mountain on the northern flank, moving towards Zeke's Meadow. Firefighters believe that there is not a significant fire danger right now, but people are still encouraged to use extreme caution. There's a total of 447 people now fighting that fire. And the Montana National Guard is now on the scene to help a man uh, to help man checkpoints and roadblocks in the areas surrounding the Lolo Peak fire. After receiving an order on Thursday, soldiers had until Friday afternoon to report. They went through mandatory training and then immediately arrived to set up camp. Managing the roadblocks not only keeps people safe but keeping them out of harm's way from the fire, but also helps those homes from being burglarized. Now, despite a 12-hour shift, 5 a.m. wake-up calls, soldiers say that they are happy to be able to help out with this task. We see it as being critically important, and uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to be able to come in and help out the sheriff's departments from both Missoula and Ravalli County, as they've been stretched incredibly thin, uh, doing the checkpoint security and assisting with the evacuation notices, and um, as well as trying to do their daily job. The National Guard plans to stick around until the troops are no longer needed. So it's good to know that they're there. Absolutely true. 
Uh, you unfortunately, imagine, we have to use them, but thank goodness they are can there. you imagine you get evacuated and then somebody comes and robs your house by the time you make it back? I just can't even Sickening. believe it. We do have to take a quick break, but hang tight, because coming up, another perspective of the solar eclipse from our meteorologist, Ed McIntosh. But first, a little preview of CBS this morning, where, th where they are standing by at 11 locations across the states to witness the full totality spectrum of today's legendary eclipse. CBS this morning, the latest on the search for missing sailors after the USS John McCain crashed into an oil tanker near Singapore. Plus, we have crews spread across the country where, me where many people are already camping out for the best views of today's historic solar eclipse. We're also going to talk with Bill Nye and astronomer Derek Pitts. We'll see you right at 7.